In this video, we'll be looking at some instances where cops arrested fellow cops, deputies, a sheriff, and even a mayor. We'll also see some incidents where cops showed their true colors and acted quite aggressively even towards other cops. It's gonna be a wild ride, so without any further delay, let's get straight into the clips. The following body cam footage was taken on April 14th, 2023. As soon as a cop approached the driver of the car he pulled over, the driver showed him his badge and said that he's from the Cincinnati Police Department. Got you stop your speed. My bad, bro. I appreciate it. Cincinnati. Okay, okay. Anything to drink tonight? Nope. Come on, if I check your eyes out? Yes, sir. All right, bring your head out here just a little bit. Okay. Follow tip my finger with your eyes only. Don't we yep. Good. Man, how much you had to drink? Literally nothing. I took my friend home. All right, I'm gonna get you out, make sure you're okay, drive. Okay. Step on that. When the cop asked him how much he had to drink, he said that he wasn't drinking at all. The cop also told him that his tags were expired. Then he stepped out of his vehicle and agreed to do a series of sobriety tests. You work for Cincinnati and you got expired you got me, I, tags? I showed you my badge. I know, but I'm saying you work for Cincinnati and you drive around with expired tags. How long you work for him? About a year and a half. I, grad I, I started when I graduated college. All right. He kept insisting that he didn't have anything to drink, but he refused a breathalyzer and told the cop to call his sergeant. They were arguing and the cop said that he could smell alcohol on him. When he threatened to arrest him, the Cincinnati cop agreed to do all the tests. Taking me and my girl home, that's literally it. You right. cannot smell anything on me. I can smell, I can smell, smell gum because I've had gum. No, I can smell a strong odor and alcohol beverage. You cannot. I can't. Okay. Why would I make it up? Why would I pull you out of the car? I, I have no idea. I was speeding, yes. If you want to run me a speeding ticket and uh, took it for my, life, for my registration being expired, fine. That's fine. Okay. But you're not willing to pull on a portable breath test? No, sir. No, I want to put you through some more tests. I refuse. You refuse? Go ahead and turn around. During one such test, he lost his balance, which is why the cop arrested him. As he was handcuffing him, the driver admitted that he had been drinking after all. Next up, we have cops arresting Rio Arriba County Sheriff James Luyan. They put him in cuffs and handled him quite aggressively. He was complaining that he was in pain the whole time, but they just didn't care about that. Yeah, push him around into the doorway. At least to the doorway. Can you take these handcuffs off? They hurt. They hurt. Am I under arrest? You're being detained. Well, yeah. Why do I have to have cuffs on? He asked one of them if he was under arrest, to which one cop replied that he was being detained and that he was going to uncuff him soon. Unlock your phone, unlock it, give it back to me, and I'm going to remove the security settings. I don't want your passcode, I'm not asking for your passcode, I'm asking you to unlock the phone. For the search warrant, you can read it if you want. Under The cop showed the sheriff the search warrant and asked him to unlock his phone, but the sheriff didn't want to do that and asked for a lawyer instead. The cop was having none of that and placed him under arrest for obstruction. They're gonna book me! The sheriff was convicted of two felony charges. If you're wondering what he did, well, he helped a man avoid arrest, and then he directed a deputy not to tell anyone. Eventually, he was sentenced to three years in prison. He resigned as a sheriff an hour after he was convicted. Here we have a correction officer who was put on the ground. As he was down, he was shouting at the female police officer who made the arrest. Keep talking. I'm a Stop talking. Hey, your legs seems fine. No. Hold on, hold on. You act like I was about to punch. You scary than a motherfucker. You shouldn't even be in this job. Dude. You, you've been elevated the whole time. The whole reason why, because it's your ego. Your ego got me on the ground. He said that she knew he was an officer and this was all the result of her ego trip. You knew I was an officer. You knew I was the officer. You knew I was the officer. This is an ego trip for you. Because I told her. Next up, we have a cop pulling over a driver who had clearly been drinking. When he stepped out of his vehicle, he revealed that he's in fact a chief deputy. So you got a gun on you? It's off. It's off of you? Is it in the vehicle? Yeah. Okay. So you're a deputy? I'm a chief deputy. You're the chief? Okay. Well, so you, you know better. The cop then explained that he pulled him over for reckless driving and told him that he was going to do some tests. The chief deputy didn't want to do that and asked the cop if he could give him a break. The cop apologetically said that there was nothing he could do because everything was recorded on camera. I'll set a sign 
and then followed you for a little while and you touch the yellow line twice, touch the white line twice, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna do some tests on you. All right, you know how all this is gonna go. Uh, he also told him that he could either do some tests or take him directly to jail. The deputy chief took some time, but he eventually decided that he wasn't gonna do the tests. So how much have you had? You don't know, you don't remember? Okay, well, pull your hands out of your pockets. All right, go ahead and stand. All right, you gonna, you gonna be all right? Yeah. All right, go ahead and stand up for me right here, okay? And face my car. The cop then proceeded to search him. After he found out that the man didn't have anything on him, he didn't want to put him in cuffs, so he just put him in his car. If only all cops were this respectful towards people. Although who knows how respectful this cop would be if the man wasn't a chief deputy. I guess we'll never know. So this guy was mad because the cops were stopping cars. So he approached one of them and confronted him, asking him if they had something better to do. It should be mentioned that he was filming the whole time. What are you guys doing? Just stand back over there. What are you guys doing? We're stopping cars. For what? For, I don't know why we're stopping him, but he was the one that I just got here, okay? You guys are, you guys are emptying his car out on the road. Okay. What the hell are you guys up to? Just go stand back over there. Then we learn that the guy is actually Niswa Mayor Fred Heidman. Okay, I definitely didn't see that one coming. I'm the mayor of this town, and you guys get the hell off the highway out here. Contact our TZD coordinator if you don't like All right. This is what we're doing tonight. The cop just wanted him to back away, but the mayor was having none of that. He was still pretty angry, so much so that he even got his dog loose. Oh, don't tell me that. I know what the f I'm doing. And now your dog's loose. Yeah, well, if you guys wouldn't be pulling people over, I wouldn't be out here. The mayor then told the cop that he wasn't qualified to do his job. The next thing you know, the cop completely lost it and arrested the mayor for disorderly conduct and obstructing the legal process. Not only that, but he also went on to choke the mayor and to put him in cuffs quite aggressively as if the mayor was the worst kind of criminal. This incident just goes to show how big of an ego cops have. Cops don't just choke civilians, you know, they also choke their own. And this video is the proof of that. But let's start from the beginning, shall we? So the cops arrest a man, but they had a hard time getting him into their car. And when he got into the car, they weren't satisfied with his behavior. Get in the car. All right, I'm getting in. Get your What's feet up? in. What's up? Hey, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. You want to play games? A police sergeant completely lost it, so he started threatening the guy. But if you thought that was bad, wait until you see what happened next. Do what you got to do. Don't ever touch me again. Sir. Get the fuck off me. Sir. The sergeant turned around and put his hands around a female officer's neck. He had a problem with her touching him, so he threatened her as well. The other cops were shocked, to say the least, but they couldn't do a thing about it except watch. The sergeant, 47-year-old Christopher Pulleys, was eventually charged with four crimes for his misconduct, including battery and assault on a law enforcement officer. If convicted, he could spend five years in prison, according to the state attorney's statement. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com.
You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.